Best Buy wants to expand its tech support services to seniors. Uh, consumer expert Amy Davis is here with what that means. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. So this week, Best Buy told Wall Street that they see opportunities to make money in the health space. The company is testing a service called Assured Living, and the CEO said the service is aimed at helping the aging population stay healthy at home with assistance from technology products and services. So hopefully more to come later. That's all they released. <laughs> Two of the world's biggest brands are now Chinese companies, and this is the first time China China has claimed a spot in the top 10 list of the world's most valuable brands. So one of those companies is Tencent. It's a Chinese tech group that specializes in apps, online games, payments, and instant messaging. It ranks fifth ahead of Facebook, Visa, and McDonald's. Wow. The other Chinese brand to break into the top 10 is Alibaba. It's a global marketplace, a lot like eBay. It has surpassed AT&T to place ninth in the top 10. So Google has taken that top spot on the list for the past 12 years. Well, the cosmetics counter is getting a facelift at Saks Fifth Avenue. The luxury retailer has completely revamped its Manhattan flagship store to try and bring customers back from stores like Sephora, Ulta and online. Saks says it wants customers to spend more time in its beauty department, not just rush in, buy lipstick and rush out. So they've moved the entire department to the second floor and added things like face workouts where customers can sculpt, detox and plump their faces by exercising 40 face facial muscles. You can also look in a magic mirror and virtual <laughs> try different shades of makeup without actually applying the product. I like that one. Yeah, you can tell like, hey, does this shade work for me? Apparently, Megan Markle is big on those face workouts, I hear, See? reportedly.